club that helped girls transition from high school to beyond while also having fun bonding activities. Well, guess what? We, we made, made one. one. <laughs> Mia and I have an important club announcement. Girls Today, <laughs> Women Tomorrow. Girls Today, Women Tomorrow is about focusing on important life skills for high school girls to help them tra transition from high school and to college and beyond. In this club, we'll learn about life skills, we'll do self-defense classes, participate in bonding activities such as vision boards, friendship brace bracelets, coloring, painting, and so much more. We will also have female guest speakers come out to Stratford and talk to us about their journey, their wisdom, and their tips that can be passed on to us, and everything else in between. <laughs> As Mia was saying, in the club we are going to bring a bunch of different female speakers who range from stay-at-home moms to professionals like lawyers, police officers, and psychiatrists to talk to everyone about important life lessons and even self-defense. Forms will be out to sign up for the club or apply for leadership, leadership positions like grade representatives or social media managers next week. Thank, Thank you, you and please join. join. Hi everyone, I'm Mia and I'm here to keep you informed on everything from breaking news to inspiring stories. And I'm Cece. Together, we're diving deep into the issues that impact you every day. From heartwarming community highlights to the latest in campus conundrums. We've got you covered. So sit back, stay tuned, and let's get started with today's headlines. Hello, and welcome back to Stratford's annual book fair. We are tired of the Perry National Fair taking up the spotlight with this animal judging. So we decided to do a book judging. What do we have here? Well, here we have the Grapes of Wrath an American realist novel written by John Steinbeck about Depression-era farmers, coming in at 502 pages and a four on Goodreads. A little bit of literature there. Here, we come up upon a modernist <laughs> classic. That's right. Dubliners by James Joyce is a stream of consciousness work that follows the lives of folks in Dublin. With a 286 page count and a 3.84 on Goodreads, this is a must read book. Ah, the delightfully devilish Dubliners is a hard work to beat. But what about our story of the Old South? Thanks, Judge. Here we have Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, a tale of prejudice and justice. Coming in at 323 pages and a 4.25 on Goodreads, this book is a shoe in for the win. That remains to be seen. If you want to see who wins this blue ribbon at this book fair, come out to the Olsen Library for our annual book fair starting this Wednesday, October 16th. You won't want to miss it. Don't forget to get your certification for Stop the Bleed Eagles. Today we're excited to share highlights from Stratford's annual Culture Fest, which took place on Thursday, October 10th. This vibrant event provided students with a fantastic opportunity to engage with a variety of cultural stations. From American Sign Language to traditional dance, the festival celebrated the rich diversity within our community. Absolutely. Students had the chance to learn American Sign Language with Shalom Macon, dive into the world of anime with Fanboy Comics, and explore Arabic culture with representatives from the Islamic Center of Macon. There were also engaging activities like cricket demonstrations, performances with, from the Haya Dance Theater, and the chance to try henna art while learning about Indian culture. And let's not forget the chance to participate in New Heights Karate sessions and relax with yoga and meditation led by Ms. Khan. It truly was a wonderful day filled with exploration and learning, showcasing the unique traditions and cultures that make our student community so spe special. We look forward to more events like this that celebrate our diversity and bring us together. Stay tuned for more stories from our community. Coach Freeman, do you have a joke for us today? Yeah, I do. Uh, what do you call a vampire whose car breaks down on the way to a blood bank? What, do you, what is it? An Uber. <laughs> we have some exciting news to celebrate. That's right, Mia. A big congratulations to our National Merit Scholars, MJ Brand, Brooks Garner, and Adam Lees. These outstanding students have demonstrated exceptional academic achievement and dedication, and we couldn't be prouder. We're thrilled to announce this year's AP Scholars, a title granted to students who achieve scores of three or higher on three or more AP exams. Congratulations to our AP Scholars, Kathleen Codwell, Avery Geary, Drew Sutherland, Kate Terry, Hannah Dodd, Irina Jamiska, Jamiska Kelty Glenn, Jonti Hohat, Harry McNeil, and Josh Ponte. These students have shown remarkable dedication and academic excellence, and this recognition is a testament to their hard work. Several students have earned the prestigious title of AP Scholar with Honor. 
This title is awarded to students who achieve an average score of 3.25 or higher on all their AP exams and score three or above on at least four exams. Congratulations to the following students, West Illinois, Emma Jordan, Drew Justice, Anna Catherine Katz, Zoe McAfee, Taylor Monroe, Carson Reeves, Mary Frank Seegers, Molly Edward Seegers, Eli Shaker, Philip Swift, Abby Gudapati, Paul Katner, Aiden McCurgy, Risha Nayak, and Zara Fermont. Well done to all of you. Keep up the great work. And in more academic achievements, we now recognize the students who have earned the title of AP Scholar with distinction. This honor is awarded to students who receive an average score of at least 3.5 on all exams and score three or higher on five or more exams. A big congratulations to Mia Bassin, MJ Brand, Drew Das, Catherine Dent, Caitlin Epps, Eden Frayne, Brooks Garner, Stebbin Horn, Bonnie Hui, Virginia Jorgensen, Fiona Leary, Adam Lee, Sophie Lee, Henley London, Thomas Mann, Aaron Patel, Adi Patel, Andrew Pablo, Rahul Pavaleri, Sal Phillips, Hunter Tarani, Drew VJ, and Robert Wilkin. Congratulations to all of you on this impressive accomplishment. Now into sports with Ben and Alex. This group right here. For the first time in school history, we are region volleyball champions. So give it up. Welcome to Hot Rod of the Week. This is Philip Swift. I'm here with Caleb Jones. Uh, so what kind of car do you have here? Uh, 2022 Civic Si. All right, I heard you might be getting a new muffler. Uh, can we hear this thing rev? Sure. Alright, let's hear this mean bass. Hit it. Watching Hot Run of the Week. This has been Philip Swift and Caleb Jones. We'll see you next time. Hey everyone, listen up. The Yearbook Club is coming to snap pics of your club, and you definitely want don't want to be left out. That's right. Don't miss your chance to be part of the memories. Make sure to check with your club leaders to find out when your squad's picture is happening because you know you want to be in it. 
Get ready to go wild, everyone. The Pep Club has announced a jungle slash camo theme for this Friday's big football game against Tattnall. That's right. So grab your animal prints, vines, and face paint, and let's turn the stands into a jungle. Let's show Tattnall who's king of the jungle. See you there, and let's make some noise. Calling all cornhole enthusiasts. The Cornhole Club is hosting a tournament next Thursday. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just love tossing a bean bag, this is your chance to show off those skills. Mark your calendars and get ready for some friendly competition. Don't miss out. It's going to be a toss-tastic time. See Ben Kelly for more details. Exciting news for all you future diplomats, Model UN is starting up again. If you're interested in global issues, debating, and representing countries, be sure to see Mrs. Morant for more information. Don't miss your chance to be part of this amazing experience. Model UN is a great way to learn, lead, and make an impact. Mr. Moran, do you have a joke for us today? Yes, why do quarterbacks tell obvious jokes? Why? They don't want to go over their receivers' heads. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Mia. And I've been Cece. And have a wonderful day, Eagles!